Welcome back and Happy New Year. We're back with uh, Valkyria Chronicles 4. Um, last time we ended on a little bit of a cliffhanger. I feel like that episode will also be up in the new year because of uh, the holiday special. But uh, the... Not the Centurion, the Comet. The Comet exploded. Right. And self-destructed instead of letting us try to save it. But we suspect that they have a little girl inside too. So that's odd. So first things first, we're going to go back to headquarters and improve our weapons. Because I have no idea what's coming next. I have a vague idea of something in the future, but, uh... Oh, hey, Claude. What are we building today? Wow, a masterpiece! Almost seems like a shame to use it. So I did do a little bit of grinding, but it was just, uh... Whoa, it turned out great! Hey, let me snap a quick picture before you run off with it. I just got an A rank on the stages. I hadn't had an A rank on. Whoa, it turned out great! Hey, let me snap a quick picture before you run off with it. All done, Claude. What do you think? Cool, right? Sniper rifle. They're not grenades, not flamethrowers. Just a couple rudimentary upgrades, it looks like. Shit. All done, Claude. What do you think? Cool, right? A masterpiece! Almost seems like a shame to use it. Whoa, it turned out great! Hey, let me snap a quick picture before you run off with it. Oh yeah, and the commander got hit. He went down. All done, Claude. What do you think? Cool, right? So even though we are getting back to the ship, he's not gonna be there to command. Wow, a masterpiece! Almost seems like a shame to use it. So we are still in trouble. As I upgrade... Foolishly upgrade wow, this tank. Wow, a masterpiece! Almost seems like a shame to use it. No, not yet. One last upgrade. Wow, a masterpiece! Almost seems like a shame to use it. Whoa, it turned out great! Hey, let me snap a quick picture before you run off with it. Wow, a masterpiece! Almost seems like a shame to use it. Claude, what do you think? Cool, right? Nope, not yet. Whoa, it turned out great! Hey, let me snap a quick picture before you run off with it. I need to put more people in it. Okay, that's it. Huh. Done already? 
drop by whenever and we'll see what else we can cook up. All right, back to the store. Oh, wait a minute. Guess I'm alone. Well, break time's over. Gotta plan the next stop. Right, right, right. I was ordered training field command room. All right, here we are. Chapter 14, Azure Flame, part two or three. Either way, full speed ahead. Get away from the explosion. It's chaos everywhere. We have to get this situation under control. Captain hasn't come back. He told me to turn to you for a decision in an emergency like this. What are your orders? How can I give orders if I don't even know what's going on? I can't give you details. I don't have clearance for that. All I can say is when it's over, there will be nothing left. That's the only thing I can tell you. Claude, we need our final orders. The ship is still moving. Don't talk like this is the end. I'm not giving any orders for a lost cause. As long as I'm alive, I'll keep fighting. I don't care what happens. Full speed ahead! Riley, come in! Claude, what's happening? We need this ship to go fast, even if it's just one more knot. Got it. If it won't listen to me, I'll just give it some more tough love. Break it if you have to. Just get us moving faster. Will do. <sighs> Please, wherever you are, you have to go back. It's the only way. She's gonna go back. And he's gonna go back. Not getting out of this without it. Full speed ahead, Andre. Push it as hard as we can. I don't care if we have to break it. Lady, I think we already broke our limits a long time ago. You really pushed it to the edge, but we can do better. Hey, you can't just. It's fine. Claude's taking responsibility. I just have to do the best I can. The compression valve should be designed to handle more. I'm opening it all the way. The fluxometer, too. I think we can take two full revolutions of the needle. Damn near incredible. Wish the kid could have seen it. Who? Oh. oh, you don't mean Angie, do you? Yeah, she just wandered through here not that long ago. Why would she come to the engine room? And where did she go? Ah. Who knows? I saw her snooping around the restricted area, so I shoot her away, but... Uh... The Forbidden Sector is where we first found her. <gasps> huh? What about your tuna? Uh, just keep making the adjustments. I gotta go check something out. Hey! Where are you going? Man, her being the Valkyria is wild. Angel and Machine, which means that the other ship also had a Valkyria. Huh. for the coat. It was really warm. Angie! I remembered who I am. Well, I sort of remembered a while ago. There's something I have to do. 
It's the only way I can help everyone. I knew that, but I couldn't do it. I was having too much fun with all of you. I never felt so warm before. Nobody's ever been as kind to me as all of you were. I... I just wanted to stay with you forever. Angie? I'm scared, Riley. But... But I have to be... Who I truly am. It's over. Did you hear that? That means... And this is the engine room. The main reactor's got power again. It just came back on, damn it. She came back. Brian! Right. Give us everything you've got. Full speed ahead. Hold on tight. We're kicking this baby into overdrive. Are we gonna clear the blast zone? God only knows, Brian, because I sure as hell don't. <sighs> You all okay? <laughs> Dear God. Looks like we managed to make it into the safe zone. Don't look away, Captain. That light is our last hope. Our last hope? There is so much happening. What is that? Another one? 
Another one I couldn't say. Just damn it. <laughs> The last one. The last one, at least. I have to save her. What the hell is going on here? Hey, about before. <laughs> oh, are you crying? She was so sad. I could hear her. I'm suffering. It hurts. I want to live. And even through all the pain, she wanted me to escape. The vault. I... I hate them. I'll never forgive what they have done. Cremaria. Sorry, I think all this is over my head. But... I know what to do when I see a lady cry. Chapter 15, A Reason to Fight. Well, well, well. I thought there'd be another fight. But there was not, which means I need to go back to headquarters now. Because I guess we're going to start Chapter 15. today if there's nothing to upgrade then we can just roll right on into the next chapter Hey, Minerva, are you all right? It's not like you to leave your food untouched. Oh, Claude, good timing. Here, take my bread. What? You're not going to eat it? Well, if you insist. Uh, uh, ow! This isn't bread, it's a rock. It's bread, all right. And it's all we've got today. Now do you see the problem? I suggested we quit while we're ahead. But Lieutenant Victor insists that we clean our plates regardless. But of course. Balanced nutrition is part and parcel with a knightly code of conduct. <laughs> well, at this rate, you'll be the knights with no teeth. I wonder if it's softer on the inside. I know. I'll break it open with a wrench. Yeah! Nuts! I thought if there was just one weak spot, I could crack the whole thing open. No weaknesses. This role has better defenses than the Federation itself. <sighs> How can I slice up the Empire if I can't at least manage to break bread? Your toast, you loathsome loaf! Rise to the challenge, Lieutenant Victor. You mustn't give up. Huh. If soft spots are encrusted with armor, even a humble loaf of bread can become unbreakable. It reminds me of... Thanks. You're welcome. Fortify all armor. I'll take it. A fine idea. Perhaps the greatest since sliced bread. Okay. Guess I'm alone. Well, break time's over. Gotta plan the next. 
yeah, we can just roll right into uh, the next chapter. In his name. Yes. How could anything be so perfectly, achingly beautiful? It's heaven's light. The light of creation. An earth-born sun, crafted by human hands. A beacon of hope to light the path of mankind. You've done it, Al. Albert Miller, my dearest friend. Oh, that's Riley's dad. Your final gift. This great Promethean fire you left behind will change the world! No. No, 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 no. I am the one who will change this world as Al's friend. It is my privilege, my right. <laughs> yes, I will be the one to finally grant your wish. Only I ever truly understood you, Al. I was your friend, and so I work in your stead. I will see it done. Didn't they say Riley's dad was killed by Belgar? The letter. <laughs> Angie, why? Huh? That wasn't there before. Is that a letter? Writing. What did you say this ship's running on? It's running on her. What? What the hell's that supposed to mean? Angie's just a little girl. What do you mean she's powering the ship? It's not just the Centurion. The Cavalier. The Comet. All the ships were the same. <laughs> Our ship runs on Angie's power. The power of the Valkyria. Yes. The main reactor is fueled by a Valkyria. Each ship was assigned one. On paper, they're civilian contractors. And the one assigned to the Centurion is named Angie. Angelica Farnaby. Wait, hold on. Just what is a Valkyria? I heard they're descendants of the ancient Valkyrie, who protected this land a long time ago. I've already been told that the Empire is weaponizing them, and that the Winter Witch is one specialized for combat. But you're saying the Federation has their own Valkyria? Not even as weapons, but as living batteries? That's correct. Angelica has been modified to act as a power source. By exposing herself to Ragnite, she can generate energy far beyond conventional compression. She alone can produce enough energy to power this entire cruiser. That's why the restricted area was so heavily guarded. You're using a human being. You locked a little girl in the reactor of a military ship. Claude, she volunteered for this. She signed a waiver agreeing that she and her life belonged to the military. There's no way that could be legitimate. On the contrary, it's a legally binding contract. Just like the one you signed when you enlisted. <sighs> It was an accident that she left the main reactor and met you all, and suffered amnesia at that. But once she remembered her duty, she returned to the main reactor of her own volition. 
How is this even possible? She and all the others volunteered for this initiative. They're doing whatever they can for their homeland. But uh, both the Cavalier and the Comet are gone. Indeed. Valkyria's fates are tied to their ships. They knew the risks. The immense propulsion power of the snow cruisers would be unattainable without Valkyrian support. And Operation Cygnus is impossible without these ships. This plan has been in the works for a long time. I knew it. This was already being prepared even before Operation Northern Cross. Correct. The United States of Vinland developed these ships and their tech. They are the hidden orchestrators of Cygnus. This is insane. How deep does this rabbit hole go? Are you going to abandon the mission then? Would you betray your allies just to take the moral high ground? Betray my allies? For every day we move forward on the Crystal Sea, our allies on land are retreating from the Empire. As we speak, the Federation's death toll keeps on growing. Operation Northern Cross is a lost cause. The Cygnus fleet is the only hope we have of ending this war. <laughs> and here we are, two days from the Imperial capital. Three at most, even with combat. Then, you plan on storming the enemy's capital with Angie still hooked up to the main reactor? That's correct. Claude. Do you believe the captain will wake up from this? I don't know. I can only hope so. We'll need a decision. Soon. Who else could make that call without being swayed by emotion? <sighs> Please, Captain. We need you to wake up. That little girl was moving the ship? All this time it was her? <laughs> what is this shit? Is, is this supposed to be a joke? She was smiling. Huh? Angie, she was smiling. She said she had to go back to where she belonged. Then the door closed, and she was locked inside. She was looking at me until the main reactor came on. She was smiling the whole time. You think she wanted this? I think she wanted to save us. And that was the only way. But... She's just a goddamn kid! We're using this child as a tool of war? Read this. To my favorite big sis, Riley. First... I want to say I'm sorry. I wanted to tell you what I really am, but I just couldn't. When I got on this ship, I signed a piece of paper. It had a lot of big words, but it said the military would take care of my family after I'm gone. After that, I drank some medicine, and it tasted really bad, and I got really sleepy. And then I was in the Forbidden Sector, and the whole time I was in there, I was dreaming. It was a really scary dream. Lots of people were fighting. They got hurt and died. So when I woke up, and I met all of you, and everyone was so kind to me. I've never felt happier in my life. Even though there's a war going on outside, the ship is like a really big house with a really big family. But I have a family back home, too. There's my papa, and one little sister, and two little brothers. Papa just drinks all day and doesn't go to work. That's why we didn't have any money. But then, men in uniforms came to my village. They told us to take an aptitude test. And that's how I learned I could be a Valkyria. I could be useful. 
so I made a promise with the soldiers. They'd give Papa money and help my sister and brothers go to school. And in return, I'd go away on this ship. What? To tell you the truth, I really didn't want to do it. I wanted to stay home with my family. But if I didn't help, they told me a lot of happy families would be sad. And lots of people might get hurt. They said it was my duty to help. So I decided it was the right thing to do. Duty. But you know what? I actually kind of liked being here. I think I learned something from everybody on the ship. I learned what it means to protect someone you love. And I learned why this war has to end. So I'm going back to the place where I belong. I'm really proud that I could help protect everyone. Thank you, Riley. And tell everyone else things, too. Goodbye. Holy shit! What the hell is this? Claude, this operation's over. We're taking Angie and we're getting the hell out of here! If we do that, this ship will stop dead in its tracks. They'd never make it to the Imperial capital. You think I give a shit? What the hell kind of victory is worth killing an innocent girl? Riley, you feel the same way, right? <laughs> oh, come on, Kai. Say something. I think I finally see why my brother left the Federation. Kai? I mean, Forsetti. He knew about this? He always avoided saying anything outright. All he'd tell me is that the Federation had been twisted. Yeah. After seeing this shit, I'd say the same thing. I can't take this. You see what they've done to her? I know. It's unforgivable, but... Kai? But in this moment, all I know for sure is that Angie is fighting harder than any of us. <sighs> Angie wants peace. She chose this path herself. She's fighting her own battle, her own war, and the blue fires of that reactor. All we can do for her now is fight at her side. <sighs> An attack! <laughs> Couldn't even give us time to think, huh? Uh-oh. Oh, her potential change, a child's wish. Huh. Who's attacking? Come on, let's go! Preparation's complete. I'm heading out. Riley, wait. <laughs> you know Ragnite better than anyone, so... I need to ask you something. That explosion that came from the Cavalier, was it? Did that explosion come from the main reactor? <laughs> the reactor's energy output is hundreds of times beyond whatever we could achieve through standard compression. But even with that kind of power, I don't know if it would trigger a chain reaction as massive as the one we saw. <clears throat> Look. I'm sure I could give you an answer if I had time to analyze the data. But I'm sorry, I just... I'd really rather not think about all that right now. No, I'm sorry. I was being insensitive. The squad we're up against is probably the one we fought before, led by the black-plated tank. I know you've got a lot on your mind, so for now, let's just focus on winning this battle. Got it. This is going to be a, a video that's only story. Who thought HQ would... 
would personally request the Ausbruch for this assignment. That massive explosion probably got the top brass panicking. <laughs> Can't blame him. If one of those things went off inside the capital, if it's gotta explode, make it happen on the Crystal Sea, far away from the capital. HQ's orders. So we're the expendable pawns again, huh? Not if I have anything to say about it. Cromeria's heading for the enemy ship from the other side. We'll distract it from the front, and she'll destroy it. Destroy? If I recall, Belgar and Agent Forsetti seem pretty intent on capturing that ship in one piece. Not happening. We are sinking that thing. Orders be damned. Some things just can't be allowed to exist. Huh? Well, destruction's fine by me. I'm just hoping one of our shots doesn't set the damn thing off, sir. <laughs> no worries. Cremaria's gotten better with her power. She's more stable now. She won't lose control. I'll look after her. Yeah, whatever you say, lover boy. <laughs> anyway, thanks to HQ's meddling, we're finally out of Doc Belgar's jurisdiction. Once we're done here, I think it's time for us to take a nice, long vacation. To be honest, I was terrified of that Winter Witch when I first saw her. Maybe it's just me, but ever since she met you, she's gotten more approachable, more human. She's been acting, dare I say, cuter. I understand why you'd want to protect her, sir. You might find she's a little too hot for you to handle. <laughs> Don't worry, sir. I'm not making a move on her. I've got enough enemies without you trying to kill me, too. Hmm? That silhouette. Lieutenant Colonel Volts, the enemy ship's been sighted. We're moving at full speed to engage. This is it. My soulmate and I get to have one last dance. I will protect the capital. My men, my motherland, and the woman I love. I'll protect them all. There's the map. Uh, that's a big map. And we should probably save it for next time. Because everything was story this time. Oh, hey, Claude. Yep, look at that. Time to upgrade more. Whoa, it turned out great! Hey, let me snap a quick picture before you run off with it. Next time, there's a big battle and a lot of aftermath. Wow, problems. a masterpiece! Whoa, it turned out great! Hey, let me snap a quick picture before you run off with it. Walt is talking like he's done after this, and he ends up dead. Mary is not going to be happy. Whoa, it turned out great! Hey, let me snap a quick picture before you run off with it. Hopefully we don't have to kill him. Whoa, it turned out great! Hey, let me snap a quick picture before you run off with it. Wow, a masterpiece! Almost seems like a shame to use it. Wow, a masterpiece! Almost seems like a shame to use it. All done, Claude. What do you think? Cool, right? But the original ship didn't blow up its sink. The first one. All done, Claude. What do you think? Cool, right? Whoa, it turned out great! Hey, let me snap a quick picture before you run off with it. All 
Well done, Claude. What do you think? Cool, right? Wow, a masterpiece! Almost seems like a shame to use it. How many more are there? Three more? No upgrade to grenades yet. Wow, a masterpiece! Almost seems like a shame to use it. Okay. Whoa, it turned out great! Hey, let me snap a quick picture before you run off with it. All done, Claude. What do you think? Cool, right? Okay, probably some tank stuff, too. Wow, a masterpiece! Almost seems like a shame to use it. Pardon me. All done, Claude. What do you think? Cool, right? No, no, no. Chill. Look at that. Okay. We probably have the big uh personnel upgrade. All done, for the Claude. Cactus. What do you think? Cool, right? Wow, a masterpiece! Almost seems like a shame to use it. A masterpiece! Almost seems like a shame to use it. Whoa, it turned out great! Hey, let me snap a quick picture before you run off with it. Carbon underbody. Okay, that's everything. Ah, done already? Drop by whenever and we'll see what else we can cook up. So all we have to do next map is beat that tank. Guess I'm alone. Well, break time's over. That will be next time. So thanks for joining me for more Valkyria Chronicles 4. Man, that Angie stuff is really sad, but I guess it had to be done. We're in a do or die scenario. And with that said, thanks for joining me and I'll see you guys next time. Catch you later.